boy is just now leaving this morning. Thursday morning, August 19th, I think. Seven o'clock. He's gonna go get to the quarry and be sitting there when they open. I need my truck back for my tender. So he'll get that knocked out today. So I'll go through this real quick, as best I can. This is the easiest way I've found to do it. Just soap them. Just soap out of our tender trailer. We run a lot of soap in our in our sprayer. So soap that up. And I'm open to suggestions if you got, got a better way. I had an old guy tell me one time, you give the hardest job to the laziest man, he'll find the easiest way to do it. Well, I always looked for the easiest way, so that kind of offended me. So I don't know if it's the laziest man or the smartest man. Anyway. I'm just not about doing something the hard way. I might find a better way. All right, just suck that down. It's sucked down to the table. Sometimes these go fairly easy. Sometimes you do them four times. And I started out doing them a different way. And it wasn't good. My boy just called, borrowed my semi, said that his wires to, to uh, open his belly dump got in the drive shaft. Now he's on his way back to uh, fix some, some wires, I guess. Well, it led me to believe it was my fault because I'd ran the wires that way. Well, it's part of the semi. If you don't buy it. Another neighbor texted me this morning and said he was the one hauling the hay that we saw yesterday in that video. I didn't think about him hauling hay over there, but sure enough, that's toward his house. I don't know why I didn't think of him. Good bunch, good family. All right. So that one went easy. They don't all go that easy. Got that half on. These have a specific way they have to go. Male and female. Hopefully that doesn't confuse any guys watching my videos. All right. Fellas, that's a chore. I had to go over to the bench and put uh, two C clamps down to the table on each side of that board and then work it around. You can see my shirt and maybe you can't soak. So anyway, then I put the two longest bolts that I have, which I just went and got quarter inch bolts, different lengths, two longest ones there. Then just start working around with shorter bolts. 180 degrees off from each other. them down then on this side you've got to pry this up so that that wheel will go inside there just like the other side I'll just work it around till I've got it all up
don't think the stock ones will fit yet. I think they're too short still. Yeah, just a hair too short. So we'll go one more here. Suck it down a little further. Then the, you can see here the bearing has not seated. This side was a factory one it stayed in. This one's not seated. So, half inch bolt through the center. I get where you can see that. No, not that you don't understand how this is working. Impact so you can see it's seated now. Whoop, get that in the camera. Both sides are seated, and I'll take some of these. There's a couple of these that are loose, I'll take them out and see if I can get factory started. doesn't matter which way you put the bolts in just so they're all the same I guess probably don't even have to be the same it's just that's the way I'm doing it I'm supposed to get to 99 degrees today that won't be great Okay, you guys get it. I'm sure you don't want to watch me pull bolts and put other bolts in. They're a bear. We got the drill over here. As I've shown you, we're working on it. This is 4640, the last day of harvest or two days. It just would not start. So I'm assuming we get to put batteries in it. Bob had his jump box or this battery charger on it, but he also left a light on. I put it on start now and it will not start this tractor. These things here, game changer, fellas. I'm gonna unhook his stuff. Because it will not start it. This is the GBX 155 and I can promise you just about start anything you can put it on. Yesterday was 103 guys here so uh, I didn't take much. We got new press wheels on the six and put some new U bolts. These great planes are kind of known for breaking U bolts. I had a bunch of spares, but once we got to looking that U bolt on every opener, we found quite a few that were broke. Had one nut broke off, so they would be broke once we got in the field. Anyway, so we got a few more things to do the drill, a couple springs to change. And if you remember right, right at the end of corn harvest, batteries. 260 bucks a piece, six volt batteries. All right, I'm gonna get them changed quick. I'm always the first one to tell you how dumb John Deere is. Their engineers didn't think about a lot of things, but 
They did think about taking these outside covers off so you can slide the batteries out. It's just one bolt. In the side shield. Right here. You don't have to take it clear off. I just... One handed with an impact, it comes clear off. So I'll start it back on there. Maybe. I quit dropping it. <laughs> yeah, that was still pinned. The other one wasn't tight for some reason. You got some little pins in there, you gotta smooth it over. Just like so. Alright, I'll get her pulled out. Get the new one in there. Got the batteries changed. Wasn't too terrible. Now I'm changing some of these broken springs. One there, one there. I don't know what happened? So, take a small keeper bolt out. You know, I've got a block under it to hold the opener up. Take that keeper bolt out, and then I should be able to just drop it back down here. Pull them off. That's an awesome piece. Seven dollars at John Deere. Don't really understand. Agco is always higher on Great Plains parts than John Deere. Go figure that. All right, it's gonna take both hands. Over well, picking up some seed wheat. Quite a farm here. The neighbor west of us, about 15 miles. Just going to get enough double stop for the grazing at the, at the house and then go from there. Busy around here today. We got back, and Justin got half the seed that we got in the tender. So we swung by and fill his drill up quick and then we'll take it to the house and fill our drills. Well, it's Saturday, about the 21st of August, something like that. We weren't gonna drill until we got it rain. Bob wants to put this home place so we can graze it. So, I guess we're going to fill them up and at least drill this 35 acres. See if this new drill runs. Won't take long. Well, fellas, we kind of got up and running. First round, just got them loaded. Look at that sky. Oh, I hope we get poured on. We haven't had any rain in over 45 days. It's not measurable. I think Bob's coming behind me. See if we can knock this one out before it rains. But if it rains, that's just fine. I think we're going to have to quit, fellas. It's, uh... It looks like it's raining pretty good. See it coming off that line or not. Under the cab bear. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here. It's coming. And I can't get Bob on the radio or on the phone or on nothing, so I'm getting out of here. Go so put it in the shed and wherever he does, he does. I believe I waited just a hair long and Bob's down there. I 
barely see him in the rain. But anyway. I'm gonna take her to my house. Put it in shed. No sense in ruining a bunch of seed wheat. Can't get there. Now I'm gonna throw mud all over the tractor. It's gonna slow down a little. We're already wet. Yep, thankful for the rain. I don't know. Maybe too late on the beans. These beans aren't ours, these are. Really was starting to shut down, so I don't know. Might help a little bit. Hopefully we get a toad strangler. Alright guys, probably throw it on. Later. Guys, I had to bring you back just a second. Pinning a drill up. Let me get down here. Hang on. Alright, I don't know if you can hear that or not. Bob just called, said his radio got unplugged. I couldn't get a hold of him. He wanted to know I was still drilling. I said, hell no, I ain't drilling. I'm in the shed. He said, what, are you afraid of getting a little wet? Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid of, afraid of getting a little wet. I don't need seed wheat and mud all over a tractor. So, anyway, mine sparked right there. He should be here in a minute. Thankful for the rain. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Maybe a little late, a little too little, a little too late. How they say that? We're going to take it. And we're going to be thankful. Sometimes as a farmer, you guys know, you could just stand here and watch the rain all night. Here comes Goofball now that the rain's about let up. Alright, we're going to get him in here. Later, guys.